What's going on guys and welcome on into today's video. We're gonna be going over Webull's paper trading platform, how to set it up, how to use it here in 2022 based on currently what they offer to us. So there are some questions that I've gotten from past videos. I wanna answer those here in today's video. And I wanna show you kind of live how to put through orders and how that stuff works. There are a couple disclaimers I do want to mention first. As we jump over into the Weeble platform, right now we are looking at my customized desktop layout. There are already videos on the channel diving through Weeble, how to set it up, customize layouts, all that good stuff, full tutorials on the platform, how that works. As things are updated substantially, I'll make a new video, but that'll be in the Weeble trading playlist. But right now we're on my customized layout. So we're looking at my platform, looking at MRNA right now. To get to the paper trading side, I have to go over to the left-hand side. The right is gonna be cut off slightly here in this video based on the size of my screen and how I'm recording this. But if I need to show you something on the right-hand side, I will ultimately take a screenshot or zoom in or, or zoom over to the side. So over on the left-hand side, there is a little paper trading. There's like a little money kind of stack. And that's the paper trading icon. Uh, I'm gonna click on the paper trading icon on the left-hand side of my screen. I'm gonna get brought to a page that looks like this. This is my paper trading layout that I started off with, I believe, the US stocks paper trading layout. And from here, what I decided to do is customize this. You're probably not gonna see this because you're gonna be brand new if you are brand new to the paper trading platform on Webull. You're gonna to have to go over to the new layout or you're gonna to come to a page that looks like this. And so I started with the US stocks paper trading and then I edited that from there. That's kind of how I got to my current layout, my customized layout here on the paper trading platform. So right now I have Apple pulled up. There are some important things that I do want to discuss from this right now. Um, first off, you cannot trade options on the Webull paper trading platform as of right now. I know it stinks. I know I've gotten a lot of questions and I've been told from Webull that, hey, we're gonna do it. I've even reached out and they've told me that it's coming. But as we speak, when I'm filming this video right now at the beginning of 2022, right before that period, we do not have options right now on the paper trading platform. The next thing to also note is the fill times. If you are someone who is new to trading and you're like, let me try out Webull, I'll go paper trading just to see how the platform works and stuff. When you place orders on the paper trading platform, they feel substantially slower than on the live trading platform. It's not something that I think a lot of people might realize right away, but I have noticed that myself. So if your questions are like, hey, I don't like how fast the fill times are, they are substantially faster on the regular real money platform. Okay, so right now I have customized this a little bit and all I have to do is pull up a widget and I can go up into the top of that widget and I can start moving things around. So if I wanna customize things further, I can. Uh, up in the top right, there's a toolbox that says add widgets. When I click on that, it's gonna show this guy right here. And from here, I can add in more features, okay? So the paper section right here is essentially kind of some of the key features when you're looking to actually go ahead and buy and sell. So pulled up right now, I have the classic trade widget on the right-hand side. That's this guy right here. That's what this classic trade little widget is. The order entry widget, the active trade I have down here on the bottom middle. I have my paper account detail, so it tells me my current portfolio value and whatnot. I have a position tab as well right in the middle. There's currently no positions, which that will change here in just one second. And then there's, um, from there, there's the orders working, filled, and canceled orders. Okay, so I can obviously add more things, charts, which I have. I have level two, I have time and sales pulled up. I can pull up, um, let's say if I want to pull up more volume analysis, if I want to pull up different things, for example, I uh, like that or, you know, order flow for a specific company or news, or if I want to go over to the general market and get a feel for what's going on on the indices right now, I can pull up an index chart and just like that. Okay, so we can see today that everything is down, but the NASDAQ is down a lot more than the Dow and the S&P, and I can get a broad and, and quick and dirty view of what the overall market's doing. So I can add that to my layout just like I can do that on, you know, the regular, you know, full, you know, real money platform as well. So if I wanted to go over and change my account size, I go over to the reset button under paper account detail. Okay, I click on reset button and I can go ahead and change my balance, okay, from there. I believe they had a cap on how low you can go at one point or how high you can go. I'm not sure if that stands right now. I'm not gonna reset it because I just wanna leave the $100,000 that I have in here so you guys can see this how, how it works. But that reset is where you'd go to kind of reset your account to a certain level and start fresh if you wanted to do so, okay. So we are looking at Apple as we speak right now, 
And as I zoom in, I'm looking at Apple, it's trying to find some support right here and trying to hold up. So what I'm gonna do for right now is I'm going to go ahead and buy some Apple. So I can go ahead and use the active trade and go in and buy 10 Apple shares at the market right now. That's a market order, it's gonna fill me right away. Okay, there should be a video also on this channel that discusses the difference of the different types of orders. So markets versus limits, all that good stuff. Just look up Webull order types and one of our videos should pop up for you there. So if I wanna go buy 10 shares of Apple right now, I can go ahead and do that. I can also have the 10 shares bought at the bid, which right now bid and the ask, they're kind of volatile because the market's open uh, and it's a pretty volatile day, but we can see the bid right here and the ask right here, they are small, but I can bring that or I can zoom that in or resize that to you know, my liking. So I could do that, or I can go ahead to the classic trade widget right here on the right-hand side, buy or sell, and I can go ahead and use a limit order or a market order to do so. If I wanted to use different types of orders, for example, stop losses and stuff like that, fortunately, I can't do that right now on the paper trading platform. Personally, I like to use the classic trade uh, for the most of the time for my orders when it comes to just stocks I trade, but I'm gonna use a market order by 10 shares of Apple right now. Time and force is set today. See how it says submitted success with the top? And now under the orders tab, there is a working order, okay, for 10 shares. Now I bought it at the market and you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, a market order, shouldn't that fill like right away? Yes, and it does fill right away on the real money platform, but on the paper trading platform, there is a slight delay of a couple seconds. So now we're finally filled. Now it has a position right here. So I go to my orders. We can see that we just got filled for 10 shares, okay? So now I have my position right here. We're currently down 20 cents uh, on my Apple shares, right? Cool, whatever. If I can zoom over, I can see that my, let's say last price, I can see my average price was 172.60. So let's say that I wanna go ahead and lock in gains or I wanna make sure I make money on this. I'm gonna go ahead and set a limit order for 10 shares at 172.70, that would mean that I am going to make 10 cents on my 10 shares. Now, Apple is currently trading at 172.60 or so right now. So that's where my average is. I put that sell order in and now we're waiting on Apple to fill. So we have a working order now set for that 172.70 and obviously we're about 10, 15 cents off from that level right now. So we'll see if we can get back up there and hit that level and get taken out and filled. And of course, again, that will take a couple seconds. Now, if I was to go ahead and use, let's say a market order, the exact same thing. It might take a couple extra seconds, but it will fill, don't worry. Um, also something to note too, time and force and extended hours. So if I wanted to do a good till cancel order, this order will not be canceled unless I cancel it. Time and force day, that means that this is only valid for today, okay? So at the end of the market close today, this order gets canceled automatically by Webull. Uh, and if I have extended hours checked, it will get canceled at the end of the extended hours period, which is 8 p.m. Eastern. So Webull's full trading hours from 4 a.m. Eastern all the way to 8 p.m. Eastern. That is what you get with the platform. So full extended hours trading. So if you're gonna make an order during those periods, make sure you have those checked off and you know at least what time frame you are uh, making those orders. 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m., that's regular trading hours. You don't have to really worry about that. You could have extended hours checked to you know and orders would still fill. Okay, so there's that. Uh, as we speak, Apple may be kind of pulling back. So I might just go ahead and cancel my working order up here. I use those three dots on that working order and I click on cancel order, okay? That is submitted successfully. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna go with a market order to get out and sell my shares. Let's say I wanna cut my loss and I'm done. I'm gonna go ahead market order 10 shares of Apple and do a sell right there. Give it a few seconds. I still have a position within a few seconds. This position will disappear. The working order for that sell will also disappear and it will go to filled and I'll be out. And as we can see that I lost a few dollars on this trade as Apple has pulled back uh, roughly about 15 cents or so since I got in. So yeah, so we're down about a dollar or so on the account there. Unfortunate, it is what it is. That's part of the game, that's part of trading. Now, as I film this video, Webull is giving out like five free stocks when you sign up and deposit any amount, plus five bucks in free crypto. You can trade crypto on the platform as well. So with that said, that link will be in the pinned comment and description box and down below if you want to sign up and get access to that. Also something to note with Webull, since a lot of people like to play options or get into options, you can just utilize shares and play with a much larger share size, obviously with a paper trading account that could almost simulate options. So when you're buying options, you're essentially buying the right to 100 shares, a strike price at a certain day, right? So what you could do is just play with 100 shares. Let's say you're trading Apple, you're trading Amazon, whatever stocks you're trading that are you know expensive stocks, trade with 100 shares, right? Up your account size so that you can trade with 100 shares. And yes, you'll simulate some to some degree kind of the movements you would see 
in an option in terms of dollar amount or play with one share or play with 10 shares, whatever share size fits your kind of needs. Play with what you would play with on a normal size account and just get a feel for how things work, trade and, and, and see how things go. I think it's a very underutilized resource when it comes to trading, but at the same time, it definitely can't cover for the psychology and the mental side of the game. Obviously, when you're playing with your own real money and you see the numbers on the screen and that ultimately affects your net worth, right? That could be a lot different than playing with paper money. Something to consider. It's something to at least think about before you start utilizing real money versus paper money. It's something to also make sure you understand when you're using paper money that you may not transfer perfectly over to real money because you're going to have the added effect of mental and playing the game of like, oh my gosh, I'm down, I'm up, I'm this and that. And those emotions can be a big player in your trading and they definitely are for a lot of people. Again, links to Webolt down below in the video description and pinned comment. Take a look at those other resources, other playlists on this channel, diving deeper into more Webolt tutorials. Check those out, option tutorials, check out other videos here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll leave links and resources down below like always. Appreciate you guys, the thumbs up button, consider subscribing if you got something out of the video and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.